Hey guys, Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and in today's quick video, I want to give you the heads up on a supplement you may have not heard of before. It's called Bergamot and it is a dietary supplement touted to lower cholesterol levels. So what I want to do in this review is threefold. A, I want to show you the research on Bergamot as it relates to cholesterol. I want to show you how much researchers have actually used and this will help you discern which supplements may be best for you. And I also want to touch on some of the side effects, uh, some things that you should be thinking about when you take this supplement, okay? So before we go any further, what the heck is bergamot? It's an orange, and uh, it, so basically or, bergamot is an extract of oranges, and it comes usually from Italy, although I'm quite certain this uh, orange tree is growing in other parts of the world as well. Now, bergamot is sometimes added to Earl Grey tea to give it a little more punch, and if you've investigated this, you may have seen some uh, websites, etc., saying, oh, just, all you got to do is drink Earl Grey tea to lower your blood cholesterol because it's got bergamot in it. Uh, 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 I'm not buying that for the most part because I don't think most teas have enough bergamot to have any kind of significant effects. Uh, so again, just want to throw that out to you. If you like the tea, fantastic. Um, but I haven't seen any Earl Grey tea bergamot cholesterol research yet. And so um, I, I wouldn't do that just yet. Now, let's touch on some of the research. Here's an interesting study that came out a few years ago. It involved 77 people who were given, and they all had high cholesterol. They were giving 1,000 milligrams of bergamot a day and followed for a month. And after 30 days, they saw some pretty interesting changes. Cholesterol dropped from 278 to 191. LDL, the bad cholesterol, went from 191 down to 113. Triglycerides, the fats in our blood, dropped significantly from 238 to 165. And there was a modest bump in the HDL, good cholesterol, it went up from 38 to 45. And this, again, I want to point out to you, happened after just 30 days of use. So it's a pretty quick uh, turnaround before people saw significant differences. Um, other research has shown that bergamite might uh, lower blood sugar levels um, and may even have a vasodilating effect. Vasodilation is the opening up of blood vessels, helping blood to get through the circulatory system better. So bergamite seems to have multiple uh, effects in the body, and I think we're only just starting to understand this better. Another study, which was a little larger, involved uh, people with high cholesterol, 237 people. They were given either 500 or 1,000 milligrams of bergamot a day. Again, followed for one month. And after 30 days, they saw a quote-unquote significant, uh, excuse me, strong reduction in total cholesterol. And strong reduction is their words, and I'm quoting them here. Strong reduction may or may not mean significant reduction. Um, since they use the word strong reduction, it makes me think the reduction in cholesterol wasn't clinically uh, statistically significant, but still cholesterol went down. There was, however, a significant reduction in triglycerides and an increase in good cholesterol levels as well. Now, I want to point out that these individuals were given either 1,000 or 500 milligrams a day. Those taking 1,000 milligrams a day seem to have better uh, lipid results, seem to have a better effect at lowering blood cholesterol levels, okay? Now, to be honest with you, not all studies have shown bergamot works. I want to give you both sides of this story, and here is a study that showed no effect. This was a small study involved, again, 24 people uh, who, and again, these individuals were taking antipsychotic medications, given 500 milligrams a day of bergamot and followed for two months, no change in cholesterol, no change in LDL. So, uh, A, could the antipsychotic meds have played a role in this? Perhaps. Or could it have been that people were only taking 500 milligrams of bergamot a day. Again, most studies tend to use about a thousand, perhaps. Uh, again, not a lot of research on bergamot so far, so hard to say what's going on here, whether it's the low dose or some medication interaction. Hard to say, but um, I, again, I want to give you both sides of this. Um, so uh, you, you know that uh, you know not all the studies are in agreement, but most of them do tend to show something is happening. How does bergamot tend to work? Well, the easy answer, and there is evidence of this, that is that there's an extract in, in bergamot that inactivates an enzyme involved with cholesterol synthesis. It's called HMG-CoA reductase. 
This enzyme happens to be the same enzyme that is inactivated uh, by some cholesterol-lowering medications, uh, statin drugs. And so uh, they, they seem to have this target uh, in common, although it is interesting that I haven't seen any muscle pain as a side effect of people taking bergamot, and that's a com it's somewhat of a common side effect of people who are taking cholesterol drugs. Some people have talk about how their legs start aching uh, within a couple of months or so after taking uh, statin drugs. You don't tend to see that with bergamot. That could be because perhaps it's inactivating it less intense than a statin. Hard to say at this point. Again, not a bunch of uh, long-term bergamot studies. So again, haven't seen any muscle pain so far. Well, let's see what more, more future research tends to show that are longer in, in, in nature. Okay. Um, but I also want to throw out that because it's a food, bergamot does come from an orange, there may be multiple targets uh, at, at work here on how it may lower cholesterol. I don't think it's all about the enzyme uh, effect here. I think there's probably other things going on. Again, let's see what more, more future research says. How much? The research so far is showing about 1,000 milligrams a day does the best job for the most people. Um, I'm usually cautious of things like this and say, hey, we're all different. Take a little bit less for the first week to see how you respond. But the research showing the best effects seem to be showing about 1,000 milligrams a day. And again, it doesn't take a long, a long time before people see effects. Only about 30 days you start seeing changes according to blood tests. Okay. Now, because nothing is side effect free, I just want to throw out a few things to you to consider if you're taking this supplement. So far, the studies, and again, there's not a lot of them, but there's no studies have shown significant bad side effects with this, so that's good. But again, if you're taking a new supplement, you know, just take less uh, for the first week to see how you respond. I think that's that's wise for any new supplement you take. Uh, pregnant and breastfeeding women, I'm going to say you talk to your doctor or pharmacist before you take this product. Again, we all will. A lot of people say that cholesterol is bad, uh, but we need cholesterol, and so do growing babies. So pregnant and breastfeeding, while it's not something I would suggest you take, I'm going to say go talk to your doctor or pharmacist before you take any kind of cholesterol lowering supplement. And, and again, uh, if you're taking supplements, general, general rule of thumb is stop taking supplements at least two weeks before having surgery. Some supplements tend to have a blood thinning effect, probably not something you want going on when you're having surgery. So when in doubt, go talk to your doctor. And again, the same thing is in effect if you take any kind of medications, such as, for instance, blood cholesterol lowering medications or blood sugar lowering medications, uh, anything for heart disease, blood pressure, diabetes, etc. Uh, run that your doctor or pharmacist first. Uh, again, the research, there's not a lot of it out there, um, and so I don't know when you hear me, but generally speaking, talk to your doctor first if you're taking drugs. That's all I got for you guys. If you got any questions, uh, drop me a comment below in the comment section. I'm going to put a link to my Bergamont review in the comments, and um, that's about it, guys. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends if you think this will benefit them, but until next time, I'm Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com. Have a great day.